Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Tuesday evening devotion. So before we start today, may I ask everyone to close their eyes and bow down their heads and let us pray as we worship God. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, as we do our devotion today and as we be exhorted to your word. May we have that kind of heart to see that you are our Lord and our Lord of all. May you continue to be evident to our life that everything that we do is an honor and worship to your name. Thank you, God, and this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let's all worship God together.
Lord, may you be glorified to our life. But as we know your word today, may we know you, may we hear you, May your revelation be upon us that we will see and of course have an inch of faith with you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for today. And this is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And for today, we will be talking about one of the attributes of God, that He is just. Okay? Siguro po iniisip po natin, what does justice mean? Eh, yung mundo nga po natin, di ba, punong-puno ng evilness, punong-puno ng pain, and ang dami pong injustices around us. Imagine this, sa family nga po natin, may injustice, di ba? Pag inutusan mo yung bunso, bawal. <laughs> Or, pwede rin po sa workplace natin, na yung iniisip po nating promotion, eh, dapat ako yung deserving. Eh, bakit po yung tsaka binigay? Di ba? And with this, a lot of injustices, Nagkakaroon po tayo ng low view of injustice or, or justices. Bumababa po yung tingin natin sa justice. And magiging, nagkakaroon po tayo ng settlement or nagkakaroon tayo ng compromise when we talk about just Ay, okay lang po palang gawin to eh. So gagawin ko na lang din. Because hindi po napapractice ng tama yung justice. And because of that image, ganoon din po yung nakikita natin. When we speak of God's justice, we settle for lesser justice. Na okay lang naman kasi mapapatawad naman po ako ni God. At okay lang naman kasi gracious naman yung God na sinaserve ko. Ang mali po doon is that we are running to worldly repentance. And I hope today that we can learn that the justice that God is giving is right and we need to uphold it. And sa babasahin po nating word ngayon, ganun din po yung nangyayari no, sa mga Israelite. Nandun na po sila sa peak of seeing the low standard of the justice of God. And sabi po dito sa passage natin, in Deuteronomy 32, and where Moses that have given essential truths about God, and more importantly, the truth of God. In verse 4, it says here, The rock, His work is perfect, for all His ways are justice. A God of faithfulness and without iniquities, just and upright He is. Dito po, pinapakita po nung kanta ni Moses na yung isang nature po ni God, that He is a rock. God is a rock. Diba? God is faithful. Consistent po ating Panginoon. He never changes. Hindi po siya nagbabago. He is immovable. And this is the character of God. Diba, pag nakita po natin yun, I hope that that kind of image that we see, we can see that God is, na dapat siya yung refuge natin. And he, that we can be with Him forever. Also, also that this backdrop of God's image, we can see na Moses see the perfect works of God. Lahat po ng ginagawa ng Panginoon sa atin is perfect. God doesn't just have a standard. He is the standard of right and good. At syempre po, itong standard na ito, pinakahawakan po ng Panginoon natin yun. He become the standard. And He become, yung ways niya po, no? the standard of righteousness and truth and even justice. That's why lahat po ng ginagawa ng Panginoon, dapat po hindi, hindi mababa sa standard na pinakahawakan natin sa Kanya. Because His ways are all perfect. And knowing that God's ways and God's work are perfect, we also remember that we are God's workmanship. And we are patterned to His likeness. Speaking of God's likeness, this is a question of our Lordship to God. Dapat po si Lord yung master and the one who calls the shot sa buhay po natin. And also, Moses knew that all his ways are just. Lahat po ng ginagawa ng Panginoon ay may justice. ba diba? Yung dealing po ni God sa brokenness po nating mga tao, sa mga evilness po nating ginagawa. 
hindi lang po furnace yung pinapakita niya. But, the important thing that God is the God who is accurate in His dealings. Nasa perfect timing po yung pagiging just, yung pagbibigay ng justice ng Panginoon. He uses accurate measure sa mga dealings and dinidistribute niya po ito in a right way in His perfect timing. Diba? Isa po dito, if you would remember, yung story po ni Moses at saka Egyptian, yung mga Egyptian back then sa Book of Exodus. Diba remember po that when they were in the Red Sea, tapos tinaas po ni Moses yung staff niya para po uh, mahati yung sea. And naglakad po yung mga Israelite doon and they were chased by the Egyptian. And after pong nakalakad ng mga Egyptian, inalaw po ni Lord na yung mga enemies niya yung mga chariots po ng mga Egyptian, masira at madurog. Gods allow all injustices to be punished. And ganun kalupit ng Panginoon na sinaserve natin. And hindi lang po dun. At the moment that we can see the justice of God punish as evil and defended and give His protection to those who are oppressed. He give, He will protect us. He will defend us. That's how the justice of God works. Pero maybe you, we are in the point where we are questioning the justice of God right now. Talaga po ba that God is just to all His ways? Eh, lately nga po eh, we, we currently thinking na eh, I do my la, ma, ginawa ko po lahat ng tama. Dapat ako po yung deserving, hindi po yung co-worker ko. Or maybe sa bahay nyo, dapat si kuya yung maghuhugas ng pinggan. Or dapat ako yung highest score kasi nga, nag-aral naman ako ng mabuti. Siguro po yun yung thinking natin. Pero ang sinabi po dun sa next verse, sabi po dun, He is a God of faithfulness. Yung God po na sinaserve natin is a faithful God. Even in the midst of our unfaithfulness, God remain faithful. Ganun po kabuti ang Panginoon. And imagine this, the God that we're serving has no inequities. Upright po siya and just. Yun po yung karakter ng Panginoon natin. And He does not have any inward corruption. God doesn't have any corruption on His self. And also, wala din siyang brokenness. He is righteous, completely righteous in His nature. Therefore, if we believe that God is just, then we believe that His standards are always right. And His judgment are always accurate. Yung pinagdadaanan po natin ngayon, maybe, just maybe, it feels like unfair. But remember, God is doing something in your life today. Maybe this is a correction of our character, molding us to be more to His likeness. And of course, His judgment are always accurate. His faithfulness are always against injustice. My encouragement to everyone is remain faithful to God. Remain upright to Him and see how accurate His timing would be. His ways are perfect and true. But God's perfect picture of His justice is on the cross. That's the perfect justice that we can see. When we see at the cross, we see not only that God exposes and punishes evil, but makes a way to those who are far from God. Imagine that. All of us are far, are far from God, but God gave us an invitation of faith to be with Him. This makes us a way to those who are far from God, even to those people that are, that are oppressed by evil. And more than that, no, when we see the resurrection of Christ, we realize that Jesus is not just just, 
but he become the justifier of all who put his faith in him. When we started to acknowledge and believe in Jesus, we are justified in faith. The character that we have right now and the image and the likeness that we have right now is in Jesus. We become God's righteousness. The question here is, where do you put your faith? to those things that you lost hope and to settle, to settle for less? Where do you put your faith? And God's justice for you. It says in Romans 3, verse 25 to 26, For God presented Jesus as the sacrifice of sin. Remember that God is just. And our sins must go and be punished. And Jesus become the ultimate sacrifice and the substitute for our sin. People are made with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. God, Jesus, when he sacrificed himself, he forgave us, he redeemed us for all our sin. This sacrifice shows that God was being fair when He held back and did not punish those who sinned in times past. Verse 26, For He was looking ahead and including them in what He would do in present time. God did this to demonstrate His righteousness. That's how righteous God is. When we start to believe, when we start to put faith in God, we see the great picture of God's justice. For God did this to demonstrate His righteousness. For He Himself is fair and just. And He makes sinners right in His sight. Grabe. That's God's grace. More than God knowing that He is good and we are not, knowing that God is justice and we are not, knowing that God is holy and we are not. But God is loving as well. God is compassionate as well to give us grace, to show that we can be forgiven, to show that we can have justice in, in Jesus Christ. Again, he makes sinners right in his eyes. Why? When they believe in Jesus, when, they, when we started to, to put our faith to God, to put our faith to Jesus Christ, when we started to believe and have faith, we become the righteousness of God. We embodied God's justice. And God is just and expects us to be just in all our relationships. Let us pray today. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this time that you are present, Lord. In the moments, Lord, that we felt injustice, we felt that things are unfair, we pray, Lord, that may you be in the midst that we will see your ways are perfect, your dealings are accurate. That we will just put faith, Lord, and infuse faith in our heart today, God. And if you are one of those people who felt like you are victimized of injustices or unfairness, this is a prayer for you. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this people, God. I pray, God, to their whatever experience, Lord, that had happened to their past or to their present right now. We pray, Lord, that when they face and facing their injustices right now, may you give them your image of what justice looked like on the cross of Christ. 
We pray that we may surrender everything, Lord, to you. At whatever heart that we have right now, may you cleanse our heart, check our heart, correct us, rebuke us, and give, give us a right character of faith to remain stable and sure, to uphold the truth in you. Thank you, God. Receive the Lord's blessing. Therefore, may be, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. And this is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's all continue to worship God. Five.